Hey y'all, what's up again? Woo! This is a what's up video, y'all, but let me get this out the way. Have you ever heard of American Pickers picking the back rows of America? Have you ever heard of Matt part-time pickers on YouTube? Have you ever heard of my boy, Big Buff, Buffalo Pickers? Him, Glass City, and Mess Hard Digs on Friday nights. Yeah, defend the hustle, y'all. Have you ever heard of Big D, Regina Michelle? Yeah, Fundamentals of the Side Hustle. Yeah, they got a show Hump Day Hangout on Wednesdays. Hold on, y'all. Have you ever heard of Ella? Have you ever heard of Shaw? Have you ever heard of Miss Taffy? Taffy. Have you ever heard of Blood, Sweat, and Sell? You're bloody, you're sweating, you're damn selling. Yeah. Have you ever heard of my boy, TP? Yeah, out of Kentucky. Yeah, check him out. Have you ever heard of Dixon Pictons? Yeah. Well, this is Kevin from St. Louis, and I just want to tell y'all, woo, that we pick in the hood, too. Yeah. Hey, y'all. Sorry about that. I'm driving, and I'm turning corners and stuff like that, and it's kind of throwing me off. Um, this is going to be a what's so video. Let me turn y'all on the ride. Woo, we're going through a little small town called Hannibal, Missouri. Yeah, first up, it's a it's a um, thrift store right here that I stop sometime on my break. Yeah, the uh, Salvation Army right there. I feel like stopping. Woo, y'all know pickers when uh when resellers pass, can't pass by no damn thrift store. There's something wrong. We need some help. But anyway, yeah, y'all. First item that I sold, I paid ten dollars for. It's a sharp view cam. It's a high eight camcorder. Yeah, I paid ten dollars for it, y'all. It worked perfect. It's nice. I started to keep it, but I said, nah. Let me go ahead and sell this. So it sold for a hundred and twenty-nine dollars, and I got free shipping on that. Usually I don't put free shipping, but I did it this time because y'all know I was on suspension. I just got off get off got off suspension on the twentieth. So this is before suspension. So I was trying anything to uh, to get customers, and so I I, I, I uh, offered free shipping. Okay, y'all. Next up, I sold a, a pair of Timberland boots. These ain't just Timberlands that that you think of when you say Timberlands. I'm sorry, y'all. These are called uh, Chuka Chaka Chuka C H U. AKA, they Gore-Tex, they got Gore-Tex material built into them. They look like little, um, just little boots, not, not, not like the, uh, the, 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 the medium, uh, Timberland boots that everybody wear with jeans and stuff. These, these, you can wear them with jeans, but these not those. I see, you can, I, I have a picture of them so you can see them. I paid $5 for these. And they sold for thirty-five dollars, nine dollars shipping and handling. I sold a, a, a Xbox Silent Scope light rifle uh, by Pelican. I paid, I think I paid four dollars for this, and I saw it, and I was like, damn! I, I never seen. Uh, how can I put it? I never seen a, 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 a gun or an accessory for an Xbox look like this, you know. So it, it, it was a trigger to my eyes when I picked it up. I didn't know it was an Xbox accessory or an Xbox gun or an Xbox controller. I didn't know that until I looked it up. But anyway, y'all, that sold for um, $44, $10 shipping and handling. Woo, that was a good deal right there. I paid $4 for it. Next up is a Drynex, I mean, I'm sorry, Dynex motorized VHSC adapter. It's an adapter that you can put in your VCR so you can play smaller tapes like, like the high eight, stuff like that, or whatever size that is. Um, brand new in the package. And they even work money if, you, if, if, if they're not new, if they use, they work money. But brand new, this one sold for um, 
$24.99 plus shipping and handling. I sold two of them in the past. In the past, they was under like $19.99 and stuff like that. Um, so they wasn't too much of a difference between the new and the old and the uh, pre-owned. But I mean that was free shipping too. But it's still worth picking up. Because I paid two dollars for this. You know what I mean? So a used one would be about two dollars too. And sometime, sometime at thrift market thrift uh, stores, they, they think it's a VHS. They don't know that it's a, a adapter. You know, so they might put, you know, VHS is a thrift store is a 20 cent. Some of them are 50 cents, so they might put 50 cent on it. You know, thinking that it's a VHS tape. Anyway, so um, sorry y'all. Did I say what the price I paid for that? $24.99, $8 shipping and handling. Next up is a pair of gravity defier uh, GD5 women's shoes. They look like um, these shoes look like look like sketchers, exercise sketchers. But they buy gratify. I don't know the name, and I can't say the name of this company. But whenever you see these, pick them up. I paid four dollars and fifty cents for these. I sold them for six dollars plus eight dollars shipping and handling. I paid four dollars for these. So whenever you see them, they look like they're brand new. Look like they never was worn. So anyway, it's a good pickup, y'all. When you see these shoes, I'm gonna put a picture up on the screen. You see them, get them. Next up, I sold another Viewmaster. Y'all, I, I might put it on the bottom the Viewmasters uh, video that I found all the Viewmaster uh, real, the, the Viewmaster real sets. Um, I, I, it's been like over a year, probably two years, and I'm still selling them, y'all. I'm still selling them. I got my money back and more. Um, so I might put that, the link to that video down in the, in the, in the comments. But anyway, I sold one for Atlanta. Atlanta, Georgia, the city. Uh, this one was made back in 70, 72, 74, or something like that. <coughs> I'm sorry, y'all. <coughs> so, it's a three-reel set. And um, I sold it for um, $18.50, $3.50 shipped it down. Next up, I sold nine songwriters and singers CDs. It's a set of nine. I'm, um, I, I think I'm missing. I was missing number three, but I paid a dollar piece for these. It's nine of them, and I sold them for uh, fifty-five dollars. And the way it's set up is that each CD got a year on it. Like the first CD, say from seventy-one to seventy-three. So you got it all the way from seventy-one. I'm missing the CD, so I don't know what's, what, it, what it was. But anyway, you got all the way from 71 to 1987. All songwriters and singers. So, anyway, dollar piece for these CDs, I sold them for $55. And shipping and handling was free. Next up, number eight. I'm just going to do 10 today, y'all. Number eight was a Jurassic Park 3 helicopter. It had the pilot in it and it had the missile. I paid $2 for this and I sold it for uh, $18.50, $5 shipping and handling. Next up was a Brewville Smart Coffee Grinder. And uh, I picked up this coffee grinder. It was in the box. Open it up. First thing I saw was it, that it was chrome. It was not chrome, it was stainless steel looking on the box. It looked like it was really expensive. So I said, damn, $10? That's what they wanted for, it was $10. It, it said $10 as is on the box. So I opened up the box, everything was still in the plastic. Everything like it was brand new. But it could have been an Amazon return. So. I paid $10 for it. I looked it up. I, I, 
I didn't even look it up at first because it, it was ten dollars. I knew that, that it kind of looked kind of expensive, so I knew that it was sale. I didn't know how much for it. All. I just picked it up for ten dollars. When I got home, I did research, and if it was, if I could have said it was working, I could have got two hundred fifty dollars for it. If it was brand new in the box, it was up to three fifty. Brand new in the box. So I plugged it up, it came on, and it grind. So, but I really couldn't say if it worked or not, because I ain't had no coffee beans. I couldn't, you know, because that's all it do is grind coffee beans. It's a grinder. So I ain't had no coffee beans to grind it to see. Because stuff would turn, then when you put something in there, it might not turn to grinding. So anyway, I sold it as is. And I had an asking price for $110 on it. Somebody offered me $80. Now it was like a little battle because the guy came and offered me $50 for it. And I said, no, nah, man, I take $100. So I knocked $10 off. So it was a battle all the way up to $80. So I sold it to $80. Sold it for $80. I paid $10 for it. And I charged him $20 shipping and handling. Sorry about the long story, y'all, but whatever. And I did test it, so I put down that I tested it, and it turned on and it grinds, but sold as is. So they can't send it back. I mean, they can try to send it back, but it sold as is. Then, last y'all, I sold a pair of Uggs boots. Um, I ain't know Uggs make stuff like this, so I started selling, finding Uggs about six months ago. Women's shoes, boots, all kind of stuff of sale. So whenever I see these boots and stuff like that, I pick them up for Uggs. I pay $5 for these, they sold for $45. Um, $14 shipping they have them. Anyway, y'all, that's it. That's it, y'all. My uh, what's sold video. And uh, I don't know, y'all. I'm gonna get my camera together and I'm gonna start taking all these stores with me because y'all don't can't believe this, this stuff that I find. You ain't gonna believe it. So, anyway, y'all, this is Kevin from St. Louis and support your reseller community, y'all. This is Kevin from St. Louis and all I wanna do is say, woo, that we pick in the hood too. Yeah! Peace!